here's one that that came up after the game. J.R. Alexander, star cornerback, said that he's not worried about losing to the Giants. He will be worried if they lose next week to the Jets. Jets come to Lambeau Field. Here's what Aaron Rodgers had to say about J.R. Alexander's observation. And frankly, I don't like all this conversation about losing next week. I'm a firm believer in the power of words and manifestation, and we got to check ourselves on that because talking about that is not – that's not winning football. There was conversation about it in the locker room, and I don't like it. And uh, Josh, my guy, but we don't need to be talking like that. Oh, sounds like he was handing out some ayahuasca on the plane on the way back. From I mean, really, long flight, time to time to open your mind and accept all sorts of possibilities. One of which is we will not lose to the New York Jets at Lambeau Field next week. I'm surprised. I'm surprised that he was that candid, but he uses the media to send messages because I think sometimes he knows it's more effective that way than it would ever be if he tried it a different way. But, you know, he kind of shames Jair Alexander and it's going to be an interesting week of commentary coming from those players because Alexander is a talkative guy. And when they ask him about it, when they have a crack at him this week in the locker room or at a podium, I'm sure he'll, he'll speak his mind. And if he doesn't, if he doesn't, it'll be the first time he hasn't, and it'll be a pretty clear message that Aaron Rodgers got to him and told him to zip it. I, I bet he'll be backpedaling faster than if he's covering Corey Davis. I, you know, I don't think that that's going to be the same thing he says in the locker room this week. And I, I think Aaron Rodgers has a point, even though he's talking about how it's the power of manifestation. And, you know, I, that that is honestly hilarious to me to hear from a quarterback after he just lost and he's wearing a, kind of a nice little cardigan there across the pond. It's just it, it's a funny thing to hear him say. But at the same time, I think he's right. You don't want to give another team that much bulletin board material. And it's Sunday. We're not even talking about Wednesday where they have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday to think about it. They're going to use that every single day this week. And if Robert Sala wants to do that, I think he absolutely should. It's really funny what teams take as motivation, but that one is pretty darn obvious to me. And the Jets really aren't a bad team if you've been watching them. They're, they're Honestly, they're just not. I mean, they're better than I thought they would be, and I don't know if they're really good, but they're not bad. The coaches and the players act like they take none of the things that are said by us. Uh, they, they, they act like they don't oh, gosh. pay any attention to it, and they do, and they use whatever they, they can. Do. They'll yeah. twist it if they can. They'll make stuff up if they can. The old Tom Brady, nobody believes in this when everybody yeah. believes in you. Yeah. Right? And, yeah. and and we will see examples of guys going so far to not create bulletin board material that you actually had Arthur Smith, the coach of the Falcons last week, says Tom Brady doesn't get nearly enough credit. <laughs> Are right. you freaking kidding me, Arthur Smith, that Tom yeah. Brady doesn't get enough credit? But that is the effort. That is the Lou Holtz effort to do everything in your power to give the other team absolutely nothing that can be used to get them fired up hi it's mike florio thanks for watching pft on youtube hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from pro football talk